Don't pull up at 6 a.m. to cuddle with me You know how I like it when you loving on me what to do guys, Hollis Number here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be sharing the top 3 things you should not do in the NBA 2K League Combine if you want to get drafted. If you guys have not been living under a rock lately, you guys know that the 2K League Combine has started this weekend, and I don't know about you guys, but for me, I've been running into a lot of trash people lately. Majority of my games have been trash people. I think my record is like 4-5 and five or 4-6 and six or something like that, because I was playing at a power forward position at first, but then I switched over to the point guard position so i can control my offense a little bit more but anyways i'm here to tell you guys what not to do to become one of those people that don't get drafted and have a better chance of you getting drafted so first things on the list guys everybody should know this do not be a kobe they these managers they're not looking for somebody that's going to shoot 50 shots a game and only make maybe 10 of them these guys are looking for the most efficient players in nba 2k in NBA 2K18 so that means your field goal percentage probably you want to be at least above a 50 I'm pretty sure they're gonna be looking for higher than a 50% maybe 60 maybe even 70% because if you're gonna be a pro most likely these pro guys are gonna be killing these scrubs out here I mean like killing them with ease not even trying just don't be that guy because if you know if you have played with a point guard that consistently just shoots and shoots and shoots and shoots and shoots, and shoots even other positions like shooting guard, a small four position, I've run it, I've been running into a lot of guys. As soon as you pass them the ball, they take ridiculously bad shots. I mean, people all in their face. They're doing step backs and fadeaways. Like this is like a real, like, this is a real high school tryout. I mean, this shit is bad, man. I really wish that they would change the matchmaking to what your grade is so if you average an a plus then you get you know matched up with a plus people if you get a d plus then you get matched up with d plus people because i don't know maybe they want you to play with the sorry people see if you can carry a team or at least lead them another thing you do this is not in my list but another thing you guys should do is make sure you have a mic man nobody wants to play with somebody that doesn't have a mic it's hard to control the team if everybody's not communicating it's hard to get a win if everybody's not communicating you feel me sorry about my voice guys i am kind of sick but second thing on the list don't be that guy that holds the ball and tries to hog, hog up all the assists which usually just leads to turnovers out of turnover out of turnover i was watching one cat he had like 10 points 24 assists yeah that's really good but then you look over to his turnover ratio he had like 11 turnovers like bro you have a triple double with turnovers like that's that's not gonna cut it these people are not looking for somebody that's trying to get the assist it's different from making plays being a playmaker and trying hard like holding the ball trying to get every single assist there's a big difference Anybody can sit there and do a pick and roll and just force the ball into the paint and just hope it gets there. Because a lot of the times, people going to stop those pick and rolls. All they do is got to play in front of it and the ball is going to go out of bounds. Or, you know, the big man might even get a turnover. Which you're just going to cause guys to get mad at you and it's not a really, it's not a good thing. The best, best case scenario, you just need to play your game. Don't try to overthink it. Play your game. Don't be that guy that... Don't be that guy that's trying to be do everything. That's trying to go out there and be the Kobe, be the Chris Paul, be the be the everything. Don't don't be that guy. Last thing on the list, guys. Do not quit. I'm a hypocrite when it comes to this one because I did quit out one of my games. Most likely, the managers of the team can see when you quit or left a game. That's why you shouldn't quit out games, guys. Nobody wants to drive the player that's going to quit because things aren't going their way. You know, sometimes things doesn't go your way in games. You just got to stick it out and do the most that you can. You know, set picks. If you're not hitting shots, set picks for other guys. Try to go out there and get rebounds. Even if you're a guard, go out there and try to box out. Get you a rebound. Get you a couple of assists. Play some defense. Get some steals, you know. Play good defense. Try to lock your uh, opponent up. If you can't st score on the other end, make sure that your guy doesn't score on the other end. I mean... You know, that's only common sense. You know, you can't quit out these games because I'm telling you, these guys are going to be looking at every single thing when it comes down to who they're going to be picking because you're going to be making money and they're going to be trying to make money off of you. And it makes your stats look bad, so just don't quit out games, guys. It's, it says a lot about a person that's quitting out the games. So that's all I have for the list today. I'm going to be dropping another 2K video tomorrow, so make sure you guys hit that smash that like button. Subscribe for more NBA 2Ks and content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. She said, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. 50 dub. I even got it tatted on me. 81. They'll bring the crashers to the party. And
you know me Turn the O2 into the O3